I just wanted to start the day with a bit of exercise, which is why I got this. It's actually a gift from my friends at CAP. It will be my first time using it. So let's see how this works. You tell me how you feel. Seem like your body don't know how. Now, I don't normally work out in the morning, but this morning I really wanted to start because the past few days my stomach has been really hurting. I don't know what it is, what I ate, but I'm feeling a lot better today and I'm hoping to keep up this active morning routine. <laughs> what I do normally do on most mornings is quiet time. So I'm having a kind of NUS Christian group camp now. There's been a lot of growth in my faith since I joined and I'm really thankful that God has somehow led me to this group. So this one we're doing 1 Samuel and I'll be doing 1 Samuel 19 today. And I really want to do a journaling with me or how I journal video and I'll talk a bit about my faith as well because it's a huge part of who I am and it's a huge part of my journaling process. So this is my Bible. I love that it's really compact and it's so easy to bring around. And this is my new journal. I started a few days ago. I just finished my previous one which was really chaotic. There are no lines so I really love that it's so free and easy. I can write as big as I want, as small as I want. The time now is 9.09 .09 and I'm going to see if my sister wants breakfast. I really wanted to try the souffle pancake recipe. Before that, maybe let me show you my Notion setup. I spent the whole of yesterday kind of just revamping my Notion and using templates from people who have already nicely curated their Notion setup. I believe I took this template from Twirling Pages on YouTube. I'll link the video below, but I did change some of the pages and I integrated what I already had. So let me, let me just show you. <laughs> so this is my home page and I have home, index, goals, YouTube, uni. Anyway, I think this is what I came here for. Uh, recipes. I compiled a few recipes that I really want to try out. And of course, the souffle pancake recipe is here. And I'll be trying it this morning. So let's go. souffle pancakes were really quite impressive the taste was really good but the pancakes flattened so quickly so i'm gonna try again next time with a few changes now i'm doing a graphic design masterclass udemy course and udemy has been something that i've been using for a long time no this is not a sponsorship but anyway i've been using udemy for the longest time ever since poly i'd use it for like machine learning web design app development things like that so now that i'm in cnm and graphic design is something that i'm really venturing more into i thought it'd be good for me to learn some stuff so this is the ultimate graphic design course which covers photoshop illustrator indesign design theory branding and logo design so i thought this was really great hopefully it gave me a good foundation to graphic design for today i'm planning to finish the photoshop portion so this is my udemy and 
these are all the different sections there's a lot to go through it's like 2.5 hours worth of material and I'm only here now I'm gonna take a break and play some Animal Crossing I honestly don't play Animal Crossing very often I took a two to three month break from it and I only started playing like a few days ago and my island is in shambles people are leaving left right and center and I just reached three stars so I'm really taking my time with this game I know some people who managed to reach like five stars in a few days and I'm I I, I, I don't know I like I, I respect you man <laughs> because this this really takes a lot of time and effort and I really want to savor the whole process so that is why I am taking my time and I just caught a long locust <laughs> and I think this applies to all things in life as well like I really want to slowly savor each process instead of just going through the motions and just getting this achievement that achievement this milestone that milestone <laughs> it's a bit weird extrapolating animal crossing to my life but I like to do that I like applying things to my life so when I read papers in school when I play games I like to see how I can apply it to my life it also makes me feel better about me doing whatever activity like if it's school of course it's academics like I have to do the readings but if I do watch a show or if I play a game I make myself feel better by giving it some value some productive meaning <laughs> So I like to see how I'm able to learn things from it and apply it to my life. Now that it's the holidays, I'm hoping to catch up on a lot of shows, books, films, games. And hopefully I find some value in these activities. In the meantime, Animal Crossing! <laughs> dumplings to be my lunch slash tea break but it's late and I'm stuffed 
It's already 5 p.m. so I guess that's like my dinner <laughs> But it turned out much better than I expected And as usual, there are a few things I could have improved on Like I should have put the dumpling wraps in the fridge or something And I should have like flared it better so that it wouldn't stick as much But it's all part of the process, you live and you learn So writing all that down to my Notion recipes page that you guys saw I'll put it in like a comments column Also, before I forget, all links to the recipes will be in the description bar below Also, my Notion setup is it's still a work in progress but in time to come I will hopefully hopefully be able to share the template and the theme and the setup with you guys hopefully I'll do that next semester when everything is set up and I have a note-taking process and I am more familiar with how I'm gonna study because I'm still adjusting to C and M and FAS <laughs> speaking of FAS I'm also gonna do a what I learned in my first year in college first year of college of uni kind of video. I have one for the last semester that was really catered towards computer science but I think I would have a new perspective to share with you guys since I did come from computer science change to communications and new media having two different and very contrasting experiences in two different faculties so I'm gonna share what I learned I guess that's about it see you guys I'm gonna get to work 7 .07, and I have a call with my mentor at 8.30 She's my mentor from Navigators and besides sharing my quiet time reflections I also give her weekly life updates and she's always been able to impart so much wisdom to me and to my life because it's been very turbulent recently but it's all good I'm also trying to memorize some scriptures which I think is exceedingly helpful let me, let me get the book so right now I'm doing this book Lessons on Assurance and I think this is especially helpful for new Christians I've been a Christian all my life I was born Catholic but I've been going to a Christian church for a while now so even though I know these things as head knowledge I never internalized it and really let it transform me and my life. Sorry if I'm rambling a lot. I realized that in the past I would have spiritual highs especially after camps or conferences but this time I feel like because there's been such a consistent routine of meditating on the word every morning, quiet time daily, I really feel like I've grown a lot the past few months and a lot of things had to happen for me to be able to be where I am today. So I'm really thankful for all the highs and the lows even though the lows can be quite terrible sometimes when you're going through it but if you are also trying to grow in whatever area in your life be it faith or just your personal development I hope you know that everything you've been through has led you to this point and will lead you to where you want to be so don't beat yourself up for your past don't be too hard on yourself surrender that guilt because you are enough and you are deeply loved that's that's all I wanted to say for now. I'm gonna start reading. I am currently reading. <laughs> Let me get the other book. I promise you I'm not always reading Christian books. It's just that this book was from my church cell group leader. It's been a pretty great book. I'm on the fifth chapter which is like halfway through the book and it's a very pertinent question. How could a good God allow so much evil, pain and suffering or does he simply not care? I'm really trying to equip myself with with all this knowledge so that when the question does come, at least I will have something to say and I won't just blank out and kind of say something stupid, you know. This is what I'm reading now, but of course, as you can see, I have books. <laughs> I think the next book that I'm going to read is Educated or maybe the book that I got from Australia, The Nowhere Child or The Alchemist or The Overstory or Kafka on the Shore. I don't know, many many choices but first let me get through this book. <laughs> I just finished my call and it was really great. It's always a really good time, very reflective time and I'm quite an introspective person so I really enjoy thinking about deeper issues and just having important conversations. I filled up the booklet with a lot of notes and I feel like I always take away something new from all our conversations. Now I'm gonna have another call with my cat friends. I recently started playing Minecraft with them and it's been pretty great. I would say I have improved leaps and bounds on Minecraft. 
I say that like it's a huge achievement, but it is really no. But yes, Minecraft has been really fun and it's been a great way to connect with my friends. So I'm just gonna play some, chill with them, and then I'll call it a night. Let's go. So this is my house. Oh my oh my goodness. Oh my oh 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 okay. Well I have a basement and I put like glass panels and it's it's clearly not oh my goodness. Wow that's pretty nice. A lake view. Oh my goodness, stop with these signs man. Anyway, very good chests. I love that my friends keep putting up signs for me because I'm such a noob. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Another one, another sign. Oh my gosh, you know what this is? Good job, T. And oh my, g where did you come from? Oh my goodness. Then was this extension? Stop! <laughs> I'm not done yet. Another <laughs> floor. I thought you have enough space already. <laughs> but yes, uh, this is the outside view. I created a box. And my friends keep blaming me for creating a box. That that is about it. I guess that's all for this video. Thank you so much for following me around on my productive day and seeing what I eat. I don't eat very fancy most days, especially since we are on to phase 1.5 again. So the lack of social interaction may be getting to me, but also my diet is going a bit haywire. I'm trying to eat intuitively. So I eat when I'm hungry, I stop when I'm full. Experimenting new recipes was on my summer goals list as well, which is why I'm glad I got to do some of that today. I'm rambling, so let me stop and just um, thank you guys once again and end the video properly. I pray that you stay safe, happy, and healthy wherever you are. Bye!